Welcome to this Chemscape presentation on safe storage of hazardous chemicals. Chemical storage is an essential part of a health, safety, and environmental program. Preventing uncontrolled chemical reactions or releases occurring within your facilities is the goal. A chemical handling program includes a plan for chemical segregation as well as inventory control and routine inspection of chemical storage areas. Improper storage of chemicals can put worker health and safety at risk and the environment at risk of exposure, spill, fire, or explosion. This is why facilities must meet minimum standards to satisfy a diverse set of regulations. It's important to regularly inspect your workplace and ensure workplace procedures and practices control the anticipated hazards. Safe storage begins with an up-to-date inventory of hazardous chemicals. This allows an accurate assessment of the potential dangers at a work site. An accurate inventory is also necessary in case of a fire or chemical release in the area. In an emergency, first responders require information on the nature, quantity, and location of your hazardous products. An annual verification of your chemical inventory is a prime opportunity to clean out unused or expired chemicals. The overall hazards at your worksite can be reduced by eliminating or minimizing the quantity of chemicals on hand. Hazardous chemicals must be clearly labeled with the identity of the hazardous chemical and appropriate hazard warnings. If any containers are missing or worn, workplace labels can easily be made in SDS binders. Labels need to be legible and in good condition. Repair or replace damaged or missing labels promptly. Ensure you have an SDS for every chemical on site. The product name and manufacturer or supplier written on the container must match the SDS. Reference the SDS in SDS binders for detailed information on chemical properties, associated hazards, storage guidelines, and chemical compatibility. The storage conditions in your workplace depend on the following factors. The hazards of the product, health, fire, and reactivity, the amount in storage, type of containment, bulk or smaller containers, and operational factors, like keeping the product close to where it's used and the way the product is used. Temperature is also an important consideration when storing chemicals. Keep storage areas appropriately ventilated and at a consistent cool temperature. Eliminate potential heat or ignition sources. This includes appliances, exposed wires, electrical panels, heaters, sunlight, open flames. It's important to segregate your incompatible chemicals. Materials should be separated and stored according to their chemical family or hazard classification. Never store chemicals alphabetically unless they're compatible. A physical barrier such as an approved non-combustible partition and or distance of 6 meters or 20 feet is effective for segregating incompatible materials. Ideally, each hazard class would be kept in a cabinet or on a shelf isolated from other hazard classes. Chemscape has a tool, shown here, to help you organize your chemical storage area. In general, store flammable liquids in approved safety cabinets. Segregate flammable or combustible liquids. Keep oxidizers away from other chemicals, especially flammables, combustibles, and toxic materials. Separate acids from bases. Isolate most organic acids from oxidizing mineral acids. Keep corrosives away from substances that they may react with and release corrosive, toxic, or flammable vapor. When chemicals belong to more than one chemical family or hazard class, storage rules must be adapted to suit your inventory. Providing for smaller groupings with more separation may be necessary. Storage areas are frequent sites for spills and other emergencies. Plan, prepare, and practice your emergency procedures. First aid supplies, emergency phone numbers, eye wash, and emergency shower equipment should be readily available in good working order and used by trained personnel. Review the SDS when you begin work as part of your plan for emergencies. Remember that your SDSs are at your fingertips and can be emailed to anyone using the Chemscape app or portal.
Flammable or combustible products need to be stored in approved storage cabinets. Store acids, bases, and other corrosives on coated surfaces or in plastic tubs or bins. Label cabinets with the hazard class. Post a smart chart created in SDS binders on a storage cabinet to summarize the chemicals and the hazard classes inside. Ensure the shelf is level and secure, is in good physical condition, and made from chemically resistant materials, isn't overloaded with chemicals, has an anti-roll lip, and is kept free of chemical contamination and dust. Chemicals should be stored no higher than eye level and never on the top shelf of a storage unit. Store large bottles and containers no higher than 60 centimeters or two feet from the floor. Store corrosives on lower shelves. Keep containers closed. There are specific safety considerations for individual hazard classes. Flammables and combustibles pose a fire or explosive hazard. Don't store quantities beyond storage limits. Separate them from oxidizers and toxic chemicals. Keep a fire extinguisher nearby, bond, or ground metal containers. Use fire-related storage containers and refrigerators if practical. Safety considerations of corrosives include Strong acids and bases can destroy human tissue and corrode metal. Store acids and bases separately. Store oxidizing acids away from other acids. Store on lower shelves and not on metal shelves. Secondary containment is recommended. Follow special handling procedures. Overexposure to toxic substances can cause injury or death. Containers must be tightly sealed. Even at low concentrations, highly toxic chemicals are a serious hazard. Maintain the lowest possible quantity. Use only in designated areas. If fumes or dust are generated, handle in a fume hood. Oxidizers are a fire hazard. They accelerate the burning process. Segregate oxidizers from flammable and combustible materials or reducing agents. Also, separate inorganic oxidizers from organic peroxides. Don't store oxidizers on wooden shelves or in cardboard boxes. Note the date of chemical arrival, opening, testing, and discard dates as some oxidizers decompose over time and increase in hazard level. Knocking over a compressed gas cylinder can propel it like a rocket. Additional hazards can arise from the gas itself. Limit quantities on site. Store upright and secure with chains. Leave valve cap on unless in use. Store empty containers separately, clearly marked empty. Protect cylinder bottoms from corrosion by keeping the area dry. Do not store for extended periods of time. Cryogenic liquids and solids need to be stored in approved storage containers and in secure and well-ventilated areas. Use specific PPE, like insulated gloves and or apron when handling. Prevent pyrophoric materials having contact with air. Secondary storage containers are recommended. Keep chemicals classified as reactive with water in dry areas, preferably in sealed containers. In case of fire, use a dry chemical extinguisher. Keep explosives or potential explosives away from ignition sources, such as heat, flames, sunlight, spark, friction, or static electricity. Record opening and discard dates for chemicals that degrade into potential explosives. Store in designated storage areas. Also, record the date of chemical arrival, opening, testing, and discard date for peroxide-forming chemicals. Peroxide-forming chemicals. If any peroxide-forming chemicals cannot be verified, the container should be considered unsafe and should not be disturbed. Never try to force open a rusted or stuck cap on a container of a peroxide-forming chemical. Some general storage area guidelines to follow for chemical storage include Number 1. Organize according to the type of chemical family or hazard classification. Number 2. Don't overcrowd. Number 3. Keep well lit. Number 4. Maintain a consistent cool temperature. Number 5. 
eliminate all ignition sources. Number 6. Dam, dike, or confined chemicals so leaks or spills can be controlled. Number 7. Don't store chemicals in fume hoods unless recommended by the SDS. Number 8. Don't store chemicals near entryways, exits, in sinks, or on the floor. Number 9. Place spill trays under segregated bulk chemicals. This concludes our presentation. If you have any storage concerns, reference the safety data sheet for the product you're working with and contact your health and safety representative.